Hello from Singapore, I'm Galinda. Today is May the 13th. We have reached day 37 of the circuit breaker period. Also Leute, nur weil ihr fünf Videos auf YouTube angeschaut habt, heißt noch lange nicht, dass ihr besser nähen könnt als eine Schneiderin. Und nur weil ihr jedes Jahr eure Steuer selber macht, heißt noch lange nicht, dass ihr einen Steuerberater ersetzen könnt, oder? Und mir ist es auch wurscht, was diese Professor der Ökonomie in der Bildzeitung über die Gefährlichkeit von Covid geschrieben hat. Er kann kommen und mit mir diskutieren, wenn er einmal auf der Intensivstation 100 Patienten beatmet hat. Dann reden wir weiter. Klar? The people from different cities in Germany who have demonstrated over the weekend, who believe in conspiracy theories, are just getting on my fucking nerves. It leaves me thinking, what happens to society when we can't even agree on basic facts? Eventually, there won't be a place or institution left for an open debate on different ways that facts can be interpreted. If that has not already happened, Sadly, and I feel so ashamed to say this, that in Germany, this attitude has already spread throughout the society. Just recently, a few high-ranking Catholic bishops published an open letter spouting off about a world government and the world's autocrats who in recent years have consistently discredited experts and belittled elites are celebrating this chaos, happy in the knowledge that they have managed to convince their believers. They don't celebrate education or knowledge. <laughs> Instead, they glorify baseless rumors and praise strongman tactics. And the result is what we see now. Stupidity and superstition will drive the nails into the coffin of democracy. This decline has nothing to do with coronavirus. Populists have been slowly infusing our society with this poison for years. Now, because the COVID pandemic has affected everyone, I mean, children can't go out to play on the playground, they can't go to kindergarten, they can't go to school, parents are forced to take care of them at home while they're finding their own ways to make a living. Universities and businesses have shut down, from restaurants to hair salons uh, were closed for weeks, destroying livelihoods. Older people can't visit their relatives or friends. Those who are sick but, but do not have uh, COVID are forced to wait for treatments and surgeries. And people who end up succumbing to the coronavirus pandemic die in slow death by suffocation. I can't find a better description, but idiots, really idiots and stupid people who went out to demonstrate over the weekend in various German cities, loudly demanding to end the lockdown measures, shouting, wir sind das Volk, we are the people. I'm sorry, next time you shout that, please exclude my name. I find it disgusting that we have people in this year 2020 who are so limited in their capacity for common sense that they question basic facts, disputing um, scientific evidence of how the virus spreads. Come on, really? And there are still people out there who believe that COVID-19 is no worse than a seasonal flu. And then there are still a group of people who support um, the idea of herd immunity. And then there's another group who are my worst enemy, are the people who reject vaccinations of any kind. Yeah, this movement has been going on for a very long time, believing that, uh, that any vaccination um, is deemed to be useless. And even though at this point, a vaccine is yet to be developed to fight COVID-19, but they are already out on the streets demonstrating that they do not want this vaccine. What happens to society when we can't even agree on basic facts? And the meal that I would like to share with you today is Cantonese steam fish. Now this is not a whole fish. Usually we would steam a whole fish with bones and heads and tails and everything. 
that is the best option. However, I'm alone. I can't really eat a whole fish. Well, I've proven that I could in the past, but not tonight. I don't feel that hungry. So I've ordered this um, steamed fish um, fillet together with water spinach. Mmm, that looks fantastic. And today I've ordered from London Fat Duck. Yum, yum. 